You too can turn dollar store materials alchemy-like into an enormous cosplay prop um, with enough hot glue and determination. That's my intro for this part two of making Flick's giant bug net. To get the fabric part of the net onto the plastic handle part, I'm using a technique from Cowbutt Crunchies where I'm punching holes in a thermoplastic to hand stitch through, and then also melding that thermoplastic onto other thermoplastics. It sounds complicated, it's really not. It is a god tier way to attach different things to each other because it means that it basically has like two different methods of attachment. The and sewing and the warbler. So with the net pretty much functional, then all I had to do was, you know, cut a few perfect circles out of foam and get that all on top so I could hide all of the ugly engineering. You guys, I'm not a confident foam smith. Like, it's just not my area, so I don't know. I was sweating through this part, but luckily black paint is great for covering up any prop making crimes, which is great because let me tell you, I was painting this the night before I had to pack for Dragon Con. I fly very close to the sun, y'all. So come back for part three. We're gonna be hot gluing in the hotel room.